Hello and welcome. My name is Lurek and welcome to another episode where we design a Pokemon. We're kind of done with the starters, so now I thought let's mix it up and instead of yeah, making like the next evolutions for the starters, let's make like a classic Route 1 kind of Pokemon, normal type. And I decided on a Doggo. Cause I don't know, the doggos are always nice, okay? I love doggos, they're very very nice and hell yeah. I did come up with kind of a unique gimmick for that, but we'll come to that later. Um, those sketches that you see right now, actually, I've made those like a week or two ago. So like I actually made this when I made came up for the first designs, when you saw the kind of like concept design uh, video for this, uh, for the Pokemon series basically, or like the first grass startup one before the redesign. That's kind of the time when I made this sketch. And I actually did come up with the second evolution first, um, but yeah, we're right now focusing on the on the first evolution. If you want to get some glimpses, I guess, from the second evolution, it is in the beginning of the video. It is kind of kind of looked like that, but I redesigned uh, the first evolution, and I probably will do like a slight redesign for the like the second evolution as well. But yeah, it is like a little glimpse, I guess. Um, yeah, like I said, I made the sketch a while ago and one thing I noticed in all that time was like looking at it every now and then the pokeball was for this one was like a lot uh, quite yeah it was too big I would say because in comparison the body size of the pokemon to the pokeball and if you compare that whole thing to an actual pokeball held in one of the games by a trainer you notice the like the uh yeah the Doggo was like very small in comparison and I think with the new sketch that is like quite a lot be better Because yeah, the, po uh, the pokeball he's holding is a lot more and like the normal size and yeah I mean he is supposed to be small. He's the first evolution, but like not that small So I think the size is now a lot better. I like it yeah, there's some minor things that I did change for this. Um, yeah, like mainly, like I said, the Pokeball, but also some like other things. I, um, yeah, make the proportions in, in general a little bit better. I don't know. I like the fluff a bit more. Um, yeah, his back is a bit more fluffy. I like his face and expression a bit more. His muzzle is definitely shaped, and I think it's better. It's a lot of little things that are hard like to all point out, but it is like a. Subtle redesign, I guess, and it is, yeah, I'm, I'm liking this little fella so far. Yeah, Color-wise, I did like, I mean, this is a normal type, it is quite on the subtle side on colors. Generally, I do like, for all, more, for all kinds of art that I do, I generally do like kind of pastel or kind of desaturated kind of colors. I don't like going super saturated usually. Um, but that's basically what Pokemon is, right? It is appealing to children, mainly, I guess. It can also be, obviously, for all ages. I love playing Pokemon games still, obviously. <laughs> um, but yeah, generally they are, like, made to be really appealing. So, the colors are often very saturated and often really representative of their type as well. Often, like, the water types have, like, a really saturated blue tone. Or like, yeah, poison types are like a really saturated purple. The fire types often have like a really out there red or orange on them. So, yeah, I tried to capture that for the starters at least. Um, but yeah, the this one is a normal type, so I did kind of settle on. So I did settle on a sand tone, then kind of a brown, and this kind of reddish maroon. I think it's a quite nice mix, especially like the, the dark red, I think it really makes it pop. I like this mix of colors. Um, I would almost think that this is maybe a little bit too much like a ground type looking, um, but I think it's fine. It looks quite okay. I, I also know there's like, for example, Lycan Rock. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's like the dog Pokemon introduced in Sun and Moon. Uh, I like They also have like kind of those yeah, beige-ish, browns, I think it's fine. Also, one thing that's hella fine, I came up with a bit of a better page to represent the Pokemon. So I orientate myself a bit more on the Sword and Shield kind of hut design. And yeah, I think it looks really nice. 
let me know what you think of it. But one good thing is I can put a lot more information in for these. Um, like uh, Pokedex number, name, type, uh, cut the carry ability, and also description in here. So yeah, this is Thievine. Uh, kind of a mix of Thief, because he's known they're, they're stealing Pokeballs, and Canine. Uh, yeah, he's just a normal type. He's category dogs, pretty self-explanatory. Ability might actually change, I give it ball fetch for now, but uh, from the description, uh, high on energy, it plays all day long. They're known for stealing Pokeballs to play with them and to only give them back in exchange for another Pokeball. It's like, it's the classic doggo only throw, don't take, basically. Um, <laughs> he's not gonna give up the Pokeball. So yeah, they whenever you don't pay attention, they steal your Pokeball and they will not give it back, only if you give them another Pokeball. Which, it's the main gimmick I thought of him. So yeah, you can basically change, like, you can customize them a little bit, the Pokeball, or the Pokemon itself, by giving him different Pokeballs that is gonna appear on the sprite. But yeah, he's always gonna hold a Pokeball. You can't give him other items, so that's that. Maybe there should be a new ability that kind of gives him the trait that I was just went over. Probably a better thing, but yeah. So that might change. But I think generally this is a really cool Pokemon. Let me know what you think. And yeah, soon we're gonna probably also do the next evolution. And yeah, if you don't wanna miss that, subscribe. And I would also greatly appreciate if you could hack that like button. And other than that, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.